Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Balance Mr. Brossom, and today I'm here in this cool little thingamabobber, which I made a while ago, but I'm showing it now because I haven't recorded this thing in a long time. I don't know. It is called the Boolean C Tab, which is C T A V, Central Thrust Assault VTOL. It's a VTOL, it's like a hella chopper, except instead of its stuff on top, it's down right here in the middle, so it's protected from the inside. However, it's also exposed from the bottom side, which is uh, a little bit of a weakness, but ah, whatever. It's got missiles, and missiles, and missiles. The advantage of this, as opposed to a normal helicopter, is that, look, you know a normal helicopter, when you go forward, you have to lean forward in order to move? Well, in this thing, you don't. You just press W and it just smoothly slides forward. You want to attack something, you simply just come to a stop, and you can just sit here, nice and steady in the middle of the air. Yeah, whoa, pretty cool, isn't it? Anyways, today I'm not here to show you this thing, though. I am here to finally finish my aircraft carrier, the thing that has taken up so many episodes on my thing, my bobber, my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is not a thing. It's a, that's not what I wanted to load in. This is a version of the aircraft carrier that my good friend Quack Duck tried to make. It uses resource conveyors, and instead of you using jets to move the elevator up and down, it uses resources. But it takes a while to set up, and so I decided I wouldn't go with it. Instead, I, in the off-time camera, not recording time, made a different version of the thing. It's this. The things are completely in encased in the wall, and they're bigger. It works pretty darn good, and I'll show you right now how that works. So this is the Rack P. It's a rapid assault something. Compact plane, I think. It's a little compact assault plane. It's got a minigun on top. It's got machine guns. It's got three cruise missiles. It flies pretty slowly, but it fits in the aircraft gear. Oh, and it's got a lot of batteries, too. Quite the battery life on it. It's got a big old shield. It maneuvers very slowly, sadly, but oh well. Let's just land it on the runway. Nice and steady now. There we go. It's so by going this bad boy. Press X. All of the everything pops out. You go on this. You make it up to the top. Eventually. You just gotta keep spinning shift. You lock it in. And you put your thing on it. It's annoying with those two towers, but it makes so it actually fits on the elevator, which is good. So you're done with that. Go ahead and take that off. Put it back on there. Press B, and it slowly falls to the ground. And your plane might actually catch on there. So now you've got a plane. You can maneuver right on in to your nice and friendly hangar. And so then you can store a bajillion planes down here. And if you want to move it to the top side, all you gotta do is move it back on to the elevator. And then you do you do the things. Sadly, Terra Tech physics are still annoying. And whoop, whoop, come on, let's go. There you go, good boy. It works a lot better with the last one because the last one you kept getting stuck, and that getting stuck is not good because that's not what you want to do when you're trying to get a plane to the top deck. You want it to be nice and steady. Where the heck did that go? You want it to be nice and steady, so that way your things can do it. And so, if you look on here, there's a big old gap right there. Well, do you, you see right there? Do you see that gap? That's not a good gap. You don't want gaps. So what you do is you take these blocks, you put them right above the armor plates on the inner side, and then it makes it so the gap is smaller, so you can actually, you know, get off of it, which is cool. And yeah, it, it almost did it. Whatever. You can at least build beam over it. So that is the updated elevator in a nutshell. Um, yeah, it's, it works a lot better than the old one. The old one didn't work because when I replaced it with uh, the, the things, because it used to be EXP platforms, but then I changed it to these blocks because I wanted everyone, the whole general public, to be able to use it, not just people with the, the, the DLC. But it made the thing heavier. And I also put too many thrusters out here. And so those two combinations made it so that way it was, it was bad. Not, not good. Anyways, I'm going to be working on this and finally finishing it. I'm going to be adding the bridge right here. I'm going to be adding the landing platforms out here, which will be able to hold our our bigger assault bomber planes, like the gaps. And yeah, I'm going to finish this thing. I give you a thumbs up, although you can't see it. So yeah. Okay, so I think the first thing that I ought to do 
is I ought to make the bridge, right? The bridge is the really cool, most important part of an aircraft carrier, so I think I need to make it. Unfortunately, I don't feel like making my own bridge, so I'm just gonna copy a bridge off of a real-life aircraft carrier, and hopefully it'll look cool, and not look entirely copied, hopefully. Okay. So I think I'm going to be using this one image from the Fried Man Archives. It's a small little bridge on, I have no idea which aircraft carrier, uh, 76, so CVS 76. I don't know which carrier that is though. Aha, it's the Ronald Reagan. I'm going to be using the bridge from the Ronald Reagan, which I think was actually the um, one from, uh, what's it called, that one movie. The one where they're all on the best pilot, and it was Tom Cruise as the main character. And he had a love relationship with the, the drill and sergeant. That's driving me nuts. Holy crap, how can I not remember the name of that movie? It was an awesome movie. It starts off with a skinny base. So that, um, I could actually use this just this entire thing that I've made out here. So that should be my base. Now this bad boy, off of the back, it actually comes out in the middle, but I'm not gonna do that. So off the back, it's got a big ol' like 76 right around here. And then it's got a thing that comes out right here, which I kind of did, actually. It's got a couple, like, little, uh, windows, so I think I'll do those. And the windows are black in there, but to make it less confusing, I'm gonna use blue blocks. You got, like, there's three, uh, there's three, like, different decks with porches, kind of. I don't know what you would call them. Above that. So I want to get this at least high enough off the ground, so that way the wings will be hitting the porches when they come in for a landing. And then there's, uh, there's a little... It's a deck that's like right out here, and it's, it's got something on it. I don't know, it looks like an anti-air gun. Jeez, the Ronald Reagan has a lot of spheres on it, actually. A lot of radar domes. So inside of here, I'm gonna put all of my, my cool stuff, such as, um, I don't know, probably more batteries. Just a couple more batteries. Obviously shielding, air bubbles. Uh, probably some chargers, actually, to charge planes as they go along the runway. Uh, maybe you can put some chargers in here, so if you fly by the bridge, like in... Um, the name of that movie! Gosh darn it! I don't think it was actually the Ronald Reagan that um, was in the was in the movie. Wow, the Ronald Reagan costed 4.5 billion dollars. To lower the cost, some of the new technologies and design features were also incorporated into the USS Ronald Reagan, the previous carrier, including a redesigned island. Oh yeah, the bridge. Top Gun. That's the thing. Top Gun. Gosh darn it. How could I not remember the name of that movie? It was awesome. Hey, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going off of the Ronald Reagan anymore. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Screw you, Ronald Reagan. Named famously after a man named Ronald who had a ray gun. I was thinking about removing this turret, but then I just remembered the new Unstable update has a lot of optimizations that actually make it so that way my friend Quackduck, who has a really bad computer, um, or at least moderately bad. I'm sorry, Quackduck, if I got that wrong. Um, he was able to render three of these aircraft carriers with um, little FPS loss, which is crazy. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep that turret there, and I might actually put another one just like it right here at the back. So it's like a, an anti-air turret right there, an anti-air turret right there, and yeah, you get to direct to, to get coverage from all directions. Up here, there's gonna be landing decks for actually, I'll just show it right now. The MD Gap. Now you guys might remember the 342, the 347, and the 352, and all of them have drop tanks on them, which are essentially just boosters that you can drop off once you get into combat. But I recently made a couple of other ones, the 389, the 391, and the 392. Now these guys, the difference between them and the normal ones is, I'll show you here in just a second. This one is the 389, yeah, this is the 392, and this is the 393, okay. 393, I optimized it, right? minutes so that way it works better. This one has a couple of cannons right there instead of uh, instead of just having you know the stuff down there and the megatons. Well guess what? Instead of having megatons you can have big boy cannons. Whoa! Uh, the 391 has megaton cannons but has cruise missiles underneath instead of uh, the GSO stuff. And I could make it four cruise missiles on each side so it has eight but I didn't decide to do that for sure. reasons. This one has lasers, Zeus lasers, and also has that front wheel removed right there. Um, it's got uh, it's Hawkeye armor right there instead of the, the Venture armor. This one has a bit of Hawkeye armor, not as much though. And yes, that's that's the difference between them. Not much, but this one is more equipped for air-to-air -air combat because these Zeus lasers fire really fast and pr pretty accurate. So I plan on having landing platforms for these bad boys 
on the size of the aircraft carrier because they obviously can't fit in the hangar. They're way too big for that type of stuff. So you have to land them on the top deck. And these things are quite big. They're not going to be able to fit down there in the hangar. So I'm going to have a platform for one of them right here, another one for one of them right there, and maybe another one back there, but I don't know. It's a lot of uh, space that I'd have to fill in. And back here, I don't know, maybe I'll have room for an ACI? I don't know. I'm going to have to fill in these platforms though so it stops getting stuck. It's not how you're supposed to work, Mr. Plane. Mr. Gap. Ah, you're stuck again. While I'm on the subject of planes, I might as well show you the helicopter I made as well. So the last time I made the f this, this aircraft carrier, I made two new VTOLs. The one was the Bullion, which I showed you guys already. But the other one is the Sandala, which has a really weirdly spelled name. T-S-A-N-D-L-A. And it is a big heavy helicopter. And I actually... Oh, this is the old one. I made a new one last night. Sandala 2, yeah. So this one, instead of having miniguns on the side, it has uh, venture cannons and a singular minigun at the bottom. And that it has this instead of uh, instead of uh, the little thingy. And also, it's more defined at the bottom, makes it look a little bit sleeker. Not too much, but whatever. And yeah, it actually fits on the helicopter pad over there. Essentially, you just pull it in here for a nice big old fat landing. And plop it down. Uh, don't do that. Oh no. This is not going to end well. It ended well. Okay. It's not the most maneuverable of things. I'm gonna make a smaller helicopter eventually, but this is what I got for now. A heavy duty big ol' helicopter. Ah, I'm going in too fast. Ah, I'm gonna spill the end. Whatever. There we go. Boom. It fits on there pretty good. Not, it actually fits on there very poorly. But it fits on there, you know? That's the important part. Let's see if I can get it to fall off, huh? Oh, there it goes. Okay, maybe I need to make that fence higher. Use them weapon racks, I can make a pretty good looking deck. Not like that at all. What are is happening? And upon this deck, I shall put, I do not know, but I have a deck now. That's all I've ever wanted. It's a deck. Singular deck. Don't try it, Mendel. Don't try it, Mendel. I tried it. It's okay. So I think I should add some, uh, some GeoCorp bracket supports to make it look like I'm supporting the things that'll be up above. What would you call them? Decks? Supports? The, the patios? <laughs> Have a nice patio on your aircraft carrier? I would be using the unstable branch right now. However, I have heard rumors that your techs do get corrupted very badly when you switch them back to the normal branch, which is not good. So, I'm not going to be switching to the unstable. Although it does have a lot of optimizations to it, which could, you know, help me to build better. But sadly, I, I don't want to risk it. I'm too much of a not risk taker. And my voice is dying again. Why does my voice die around this time every time I record a video? It's annoying. It's starting up like a bridge? Not really. I need to add stuff on top. That was not where I wanted to place it, wherever that was. I've lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, also, I just realized something. Ah, I'm missing something right there. Oh no. I have a loose GSO4 block on the loose. Also, what is this right here? What? What are you doing here? You're not allowed to be here. Get out of here, you illegal immigrant. What do I do? Help. I need help. I can't find it. Oh gosh, I don't want another testoil block situation. Terratech really needs like a block placement history. So that way you can see which like... If you go down in the history, it'll identify and highlight like which block was placed last. You can save up to like a hundred blocks. So that way you can find out if you like misplaced anything, I don't know. In what world would an aircraft carrier ever have a patio? It's a massive parking lot for planes. It is a floating airport, which is basically a patio for planes, I don't know. So patio is where you put stuff outside, right? Well, aircraft carriers outside. It's a nice big flat space where you put stuff. What is the definition of a patio? What defines the nature of a patio? Okay, before I do anything else, I need to put stuff in here. Because stuff things is important. I do also need to put shields in here, though. Um, I think I probably one at the front one at the back would work decently. And we can just do a Geocorp repair bubble. Like so. Where did that saying came from? come from? Like so? Like, are you sewing something? So then what I think I'll do is I'll actually reserve the space for uh, useful blocks. Like, um, uh, useful blocks. <laughs> but a boom. Like that. Car, Lambo. 
So now what I got in mind is this is going to be the place where all of the cool stuff is happening. Like there's a captain with the wheel, and you know, he's got his people around him that he orders to do stuff. And so this is where you're going to see the main, uh, whatchamacallit, the bridge, the main actual like, controlling part of the bridge. Hey, so it's starting to look a little bit like something like a carrier bridge would have. I don't know. What do you guys think? It probably looks like crap to you. Because, you know, I'm opinionated because it's my own build. Oh, I know what I can do. A while ago, I made a bunch of ex like add-ons to my modular runway, right? And so, I made an air traffic control tower that went with it. And on top, I made exactly what I'm going to be building here. A bunch of radar balls. ATC, air traffic control tower. I place it down. It is actually exactly what this is going to be. It is a charger bobber. If you take a look in there, it's not anchored. Why aren't you anchored? Okay, there you go. And if you look in here, it's just filled to the brim with these boys. It's got batteries and it's got solar panels. And yeah, but what I'm doing is I want to make that thing just the smaller. Oh gosh, that is incredibly large. Now it's charging up. The shields are powering. Okay, so we got this thing. So then what I'm going to do is uh, oh my gosh it would work so good and much more easier than what i'm doing oh i can't use exp i have to make this available for the general populace no oh, it actually work as a sphere hmm i might do that about a boom a radar ball there we go i did a thing and at when in the history of aircraft carriers have you ever seen a perfectly even aircraft carrier bridge? They don't exist. It's like the government just wants us OCD people to just die. Why would you stop? No! You may be asking yourself, how in the world is mindless Mr. Rossum alive right now from all of the rage he suffered through? And you know what? I don't exactly have a good answer for you. This is incredibly infuriating to build. So now what I want to do is, uh, I'll put that block there. Up here at the front, we're gonna have many cabs. Many, many cabs, I think. Because we all need cabs, right? I'm not gonna do any AIs on this. Although I could, because they actually did fix the bug, or the fact that AIs like to jiggle around, even if you could set them to um, idle. But they do actually stop jiggling around now, if you set them to idle. So I might be able to sneak away with putting an AI on this. When you're trying to land this, the worst, the last thing you want is for this thing to try and like, jiggle around. That'd be incredibly infuriating. So, um, uh, yeah, let's just put a single AI on this boy. And back here, this is the important stuff. Radars! Let's have multiple of them all across the bridge. And just speedometers. The problem with them is that they're really easy to break. They're fragile things. Power gauges, that would be useful, wouldn't it? So I got, I got my caps, I got radar, I got speedometer, I got fuel and power button. And screw it, let's do an altimeter. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot these things existed. These would work perfectly as radar domes. How did I not think of this? Look at that, a nice radar dome. Because aircraft carriers have lots of radar domes, it's a proven fact. They also have phalanx cannons. Oh, I don't have phalanx cannons. You just use mini guns. There you go, that's my phalanx gun. That actually looks kind of cool. Okay, now I think what I'm gonna do up here is actually I had an idea for this, but I wanted a uh, a spinning radar dish, which is possible using hovers and uh, an explosive thingy. But you can actually do a spinning radar dish using the thing, pusher plow, or the GSO plow, whichever one is the the three block long. This is the three block long. Okay, and this will be like uh, probably four blocks tall. To give me enough room. And what that'll do is, if there was enough room, it would spin around, and yeah, if there was a radar thing attached to the top, I can make a thing that spins around, and that would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. If only there was like a half block in this game, that would be incredibly amazing. I have strong hopes that this will not work. <laughs> well, not hopes, but feelings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you don't have a cab on there, so it's just gonna be a bunch of blocks. Yes, that's... Now, let's see if you work. Thanks. You don't work. Okay, great. So, um... That doesn't appear to be doing anything at all. Yeah, no, these are just static thingamabobbers. They are no longer 
the dynamic hitboxes that they used to be, which is sad because you could make some cool stuff for these before. No longer. Oh well. So I'm thinking instead of having this weird looking thing that just looks like some sort of weird hat from a foreign country, let's get rid of it, huh? Okay, so now we got a lot more space up here to do more stuff with the hovers and such. So instead of using this thing, which is never gonna work, we can instead use a cooler thing that will maybe work. Alright, before I put anything on here, I should probably make sure that these hovers will actually, you know, be able to reach the thing. Oh, that looks ugly as all heck. Oh, I'm gonna have to do some real magic up there. <laughs> yeah, no, these aren't hovering at all. Yep, okay. So somewhere along here, I'm gonna have to have like a uh, wheels. That's, that's, I'm glad I tested this out. Uh, I think that should work. Boom. Heck yeah! Oh, heck yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And then I'll just spin around. And I could put a radar dome on top of it. That'd be so cool. I could just stare at this forever. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's not gonna be what it looks like in the end, but I just need to test this to see if it'll actually work. Um, that didn't work. What's happening? Alright, will you work now? Let's find out in just one singular moment. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. We got a frickin' radar spinner thing. Oh. Oh, no. Maybe need another wheel right there? Yeah, probably. I'm doing the radar noises. Even though that's, that's sonar. Oh, whatever. So right now this thing works really well, right? Nice and dandily works, I don't know. But the thing is, is that it spins really, really fast, which is going to cause a lot of lag. I mean, there's not a way that that's not gonna cause lag. So if I were to replace that with just the normal Terrafo hover plate instead, my question is, would that rotate slower and make less collisions, which would make less lag? Nope, it doesn't work. Terrafo hover plate. You suck. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that as that for right now. I might switch it later, but I don't know. This, that's not gonna be a thing anymore. I'm just gonna add another radar dome thingy. Now, I have two options for this part. I could either have the half blocks uh, supporting it, or I could have uh, like structural supports using the G, the, uh, the D stinks, the T bumper, the bumper blocks. I don't know which to choose. Well, I just put that one right there, so I did kind of just choose. Okay, so that's done. Oh, guess what I'm missing? I'm missing another radar dome over here. Here we go. So we got our radar domes plastered all over this darn thing. Uh, we got the multi-level, uh, like, indent on it. We got a phalanx cannon. We got a working spinning radar dish. Uh, we got the little deck thing, the patio. <laughs> we got the little windows here and there. We got structural supports. I think the last thing this bridge is needing is a good old mass, which I have entirely no idea how to do. So I'm gonna be right back after I look up aircraft carrier masts. So from what it looks like, uh, aircraft carrier masts are surprisingly structurally um, like thick. Like you'd think that they'd be really spindly and small, but they actually, a lot of them, they look like they have a very large center to them, and then they kind of splinter off into smaller portions afterwards. And then I'll armor this up. Okay, I think right here I'll do my first, my first thing I'm gonna use for this. So I'm gonna use these things, the weapon racks, right? The way out from the racks. And then I'll put an assortment of bobbles on each side. Oh man, I wanna use the Dilly Boppers for something, you know? I'll just put various instruments upon here. Like uh, that, I can do a spotlight, like a little GSO spotlight. Oh, I forgot, one thing that these things do so they get bigger at the bottom, like they get wider at the bottom, but then as they go up, they get smaller. So, um, yeah, I think I might, um, I think I might change my idea for this. Ah, no, where'd it go? Oh, no. Oh, not another loose block. Gosh darn it. Keep losing my blocks. It's not good. I think they should, uh, be just a tad bit closer together, but, eh, whatever. At the top, they tend to split off into, a, like, a three, like a trident. That's what I'm seeing here. That actually looks a little bit like a mast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cool. Uh, what would happen if I were to put uh, these lights up here, huh? 
would it make, ruin the look or would it look good? I also kind of just liked it better. With, uh, yeah, that, I don't know. To me, that looks the best. What is a very fibrous block? These look like fibrous blocks. The SOS searchlights, yeah. Those will look cool at the ends, I believe. Yeah. How about a thimble collector? That will look cool, won't it? If I angle it forward like that? Hmm. Not really. Okay, let's just try uh, this thing of a bobber. Huh? Hey, you know what? That looks actually decent. Whatever. I'm done with this thing. I think this might be just a tad bit too high up. You know what? That actually looks pretty darn good. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm getting chills. That looks awesome. I honestly think that this would look better if I had like some sort of support coming out through my here. So I'm gonna move those and get something like that going on. I just have a little bit of support, you know. All right, time to add some decorations. Yes, my favorite part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a couple of these things here and there to add in some support, right? Some structural integrity. I'll add a little, um, like a little fence around here. Oh, one thing I should put up here, probably a good idea, is a uh, shield. <laughs> you want your, uh, your mask being blown off, would you? At least I wouldn't, because I worked hard on that. Oh no, what happened? Oh no! Well, you know what, that bridge actually looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a couple last more things to it, and then I'll get on with the rest of the deck of the aircraft carrier. Now this is actually starting to look like an aircraft carrier, now that it has a bridge and a mast and a radar on it. Man, it's looking good. I'm excited to see how this thing's gonna end. But first, I need to get some measurements. Pressing shift no longer makes me jump to light speed, which is nice. <laughs> so as I said before, over here are gonna be some big, uh, like, platforms that come out that can hold big planes. I can't fit in the hangar down below. So um, I'm gonna need to measure how big my planes are, the gaps, which is what I wanna put on. Gap, 391, 389, I think. Here's a 391 as my uh, base. That's not the 391 at all. That is, oh gosh. So how big are you? How much space do you need to properly sit? Well, it needs to be completely off the runway, that's for sure. Cause I don't wanna interfere with any planes. So by the looks of it, it needs to be the full length of the aircraft. That's not good. So I would need to move the landing gear in more in order for it to work properly. Like so. Essentially, these are the things only exist is to stabilize the wings, right? This is the thing it actually lands on. This is just if it tilts to one side, it won't fall over. Let's land on the aircraft carrier from the wrong direction. So this can't be off the edge, and this can't be on the, the deck. So that has to be from here to here, which is 10. Um, that is five, so if I extend that out a little bit more, or, or do something else. To stabilize it, if I moved these out just a bit, they would stabilize a lot better. So if I removed those, now of course this may be, um, this may be back heavy now, so I can balance it. Um, actually, that is not back heavy at, at all. So now it is only, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I knocked it off one block. <laughs> That's still better. Improvement is improvement. I would like to be able to store two of these things up here, but I don't I don't see that happening. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna be able to do it. However, it does give you more space, which is nice. So that actually is pretty close with um, the bridge. How about we'll line up, which is good. I don't exactly want this whole patio to be like over five blocks of space, which is wouldn't look good. It would make the patio pointless. I'm calling it the patio. I don't care what it is actually. It is my patio. So now what I gotta make is I gotta make this thing, uh, I gotta give it like locks. I gotta give it a place that way this thing can move while this thing won't. So that can lock in there. Then I'll give it locks on the back side. That way its wheels won't fall off. So now how are you supposed to get off, huh? Use building. See, works perfectly. Are you supposed to get in? You use the build beam. And you just slip it right in there. Slip, whoop, and then you go. Nice and locked down, so that way you won't be able to move when this thing moves, right? 
We'll be able to take off if you go super fast. The lifts are- the wings are catching lift. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well that's that side. That platform. Um, now I want to make something similar to that right here, so you can carry two big planes on your deck. And maybe I could even make like a littler platform up here for an ACI or something. Pelican Assault Drone. I made a second version of it, which is even smaller than the first version of it. Daft. Come on, let's move. Let's see how you would fit in a little spot right here, huh? Do you fit right here? Oh, I can make it uh, a diagonal thing for it. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. How about right there? So it needs a thing over there to make sure it doesn't fall off. It would not collide with anything. I don't think so, at least. Yep, that's completely doable. So I'm gonna do that right now. That didn't work. <laughs> okay, let's go to you. Sun Anchor. Oh, the FPS. Well, yep, that's coming out just a bit more. That's working over there. Okay, I can fix. Is it working? It's working. He ain't. He ain't coming out. What if I turn this way though? He might try and do an escape. Please don't escape, Mr. Thing. I really like you. Your cool design. Um, it's about to escape though. I'm shifting. I'm going super fast. None of the care the planes are falling off. That's pretty cool. We go backwards, huh? You gonna do anything from going backwards? Nope. Okay, well that works much better than I ever imagined it would. I thought my kit planes would be sliding all over the place, but nope, they're, they're just fine. So, so far we have a Pelican Assault Drone. We have a gap, which is a pretty big plane itself. That's an achievement. How big would the thing need to be for you guys to fit? Um, yeah, no. I need a skinnier plane. Can you fit? You can't even get close to fitting. I might go with another pelican then. I honestly think that this carrier's uh, defense is incredibly small. You got one, two, three, four, auto turrets, and then a fifth the little mini gun right here that's only supposed to be for decoration. It's supposed to be representing like a phalanx cannon. I could try to make a phalanx cannon. It'd probably look crap, but I don't know. It might not be worthwhile. Bam! There's my phalanx. My phalanx gun. It's kind of touching up there, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Ignore that. It's, it's, it's the thought that counts, right? Screw this. I, I, can't, I can't deal with this. I need to look up a phalanx. Kinda. Not really. All the phalanxes I'm seeing, yeah, they're all they're all mounted on like a big pedestal designed specifically for them instead of just a little balcony. So, I'm just gonna go with a minigun. Alrighty. Now this back section, uh, I got two options. I could either make it a platform for another like pelican or something, or I could give it uh, another anti-air gun. And I'm thinking, well, the thing, problem with this thing already is that it needs to be able to carry a bunch of planes down here in the deck below. Which is going to cause a lot of lag, right? Um, and the at more multi techs I add to this, the more collisions this thing's going to be calculating. And the more it's just going to be laggy. What if they had... What if you could have like one of those little trucks right there? You know how they have like little trucks on aircraft carriers? Like putting out fires? Little fire trucks? Oh, that'd be cool. <sighs> if only. If only. I might do that afterwards. I don't know, you'll see it. You'll know what I have done once I put it on the workshop. How about I say that? There we go. Entire edge of the deck is outlined in red, except for the, the, the runway. So in order for this to stay off the runway, it only really needs to be to this block right here. But you got one, two extra blocks. It means I can round off this edge. Make it look not as ugly. There we go. So it's more rounded off. Makes it look a little less ugly. Not really though. The thing is just this giant oval. There isn't much I can do to make it not ugly. Ah, but whatever. It's a warship. It's not meant to be super pretty. Yep, that works. And whenever you want to get out, you just build a beam, boom, right over. Also, did I save this? I think I better save this. 
This was the, the 391, right? I need to put a C on the- oh, frick, nope, okay. And I put a space after it, that's gonna save as a different thing. Gosh darn it, I wanted to put a C. I accidentally hit enter. Uh, so, um, this thing is a carrier version, so I put a C. And I hit enter, and ba bam So I guess how you'd want to get it on... Let's just do that, and then keep pushing until it eventually slips your front wheel in. And then, boom, there you go. I just had an idea for how to make it look like I was trying to make it look before. I used this. There we go, that looks kind of like a radar dish, right? I think so. It's the closest thing I have, so, you know, it ain't changing. Except for the fact that I want to put the other thing on. So it is changing. It's just the life of being mindless as you change your mind practically instantly. Boom. Look at that. That looks pretty good, I think. Yep, it works. Works just fine. Not exactly just fine, as you know, it is kind of bouncing all over the place. It works pretty cool, pretty close to fine. How about that? Works almost fine. It works. It, it works. Leave it that. So, that is actually pretty much everything that I wanted to do in this video, is I just wanted to get it complete, because obviously there's some fine-tuning that I need to do, but that can all be done off-camera. You don't need to see that, and I don't need to have to sift through the footage for editing that. So yeah, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been an exciting episode. Not really. It's in fact one of the most boring episodes I've probably ever made on this channel. I finally finished the aircraft carrier, which is my first river video that I recorded. And look, I made a bridge with a mast that looks like a mast, and a radar dish that spins, and it's got radar domes all over it, and it looks cool. That's all I wanted to really do. So I, I'll finish this off. I will post a link to the workshop down in the description once uh, it's, there's the link to the workshop in the description. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video, which I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. But maybe... I'll do something cool. It's a possibility. I'll see you guys next time, and farewell, goodbye, adios, whatever you want to say. Ciao. Like, you know, chowing on food. Yeah, that's a chow, not the Spanish chow. Who'd say Spanish chow when they're trying to say goodbye?